What up, y'all? It's your boy, Evan. Welcome to the Cartoon Block. Today, I'm going to show you guys my process for sketching Poison Ivy. Let's get started. Starting out, um, I sketch with, you know, start with the head and make it kind of egg-shaped. And as you can see, I'm using my Prismacolor Cool Erase Red Pencil here. And I kind of flip-flop back and forth time to time between my uh, Prismacolor Cool Erase Red Pencil or the Blue Pencil, which I love, or just a regular school, you know, writing pencil, which is the number 2 HB lead pencil. Whatever tool you use, always start out lightly when you're laying down the foundation just to get the gesture and the overall feel of the character. So as here you can see, I'm putting in just the basic, you know, features of her face, the lips, the rough shape of the eyes, and just staying loose. And I'm drawing with the side of the pencil so I don't get too attached and, uh, and so I don't get tempted to use the fine point of the pencil to start putting in different uh, you know exact details of the face so that's why I like to stay loose with the side of my pencil and stuff like that because it keeps me it prevents me from getting too distracted and tempted to go in and put in fine details so just putting in her eyes here you can and you can put in any style eyes that you want so here I'm keeping her eyes this generic um, almond shape it's not recommended that you do that, but you know, it's the general shape of the eye anyway, but it's kind of a bad habit to draw the eye like that because you are then uh, tempted to draw the eye flat. Okay, so um, it's kind of one of those things where I'm doing it here, but I hate to tell you to draw it almond shape because you might be tempted to lose the dimension the 3d feel of the eye <clears throat> and now going down to her nose right here i want to keep it very simple uh, a woman's nose is just the butt of the nose out front of the tip of the nose and then just the nostril on the side and a small little slit for the uh the nostril itself and then got her lips in here and you can look at any kind of models out there and uh, draw lips and different shapes of lips I want to I want to make her her nose even more simplified so she has her head tilted down make it even smaller so it's a little bit more petite and coming up so don't need too much detail in a, in a woman's nose I want to make sure her eyebrows are super, you know, thin or whatnot. So, and once again, you can find the shapes of women's facial features by just looking, just by Googling images of them. And you don't have to draw the faces exactly like you see in the photographs. Feel free to use some of your artistic license to go ahead and change up whatever you want. You don't have to do it exactly the way it is. And I want to get the other eye, her right eye here, get the eyelash tweaked. Now the eyelashes aren't supposed to be coming to a point like that. Um, it's a shortcut way because the women's eyelashes are actually, she has two lines coming off the top eyelid and the bottom eyelid. But over time, artists just draw the top and the bottom eyelid merging together at the end of the eye and they just make it into one point. So you, you can do the same thing if you want, <clears throat> but it's not necessary. And once again, I'm darkening in her, the lines that I do want to keep on her mouth and her nose and, and just darkening the pupils in her eyes with the, with the uh, white shine on them. Then we'll color in, leave a highlight on her lips and now I want to go ahead and start here on the side of her head with the ear. Depending on what hairstyle you give her, she may you may not even see her ears. So that's uh, something you can keep in mind there. So now at this point, I want to go ahead and kind of just flesh out the, the skull, the rest of her head. You know, once I get that basic shape down of her head, then the hair will be a thick layer on top. We can get her neck in here. 
and just kind of just using the side of my pencil to get the feel of the size of the neck that I want. Now when we tackle the hair, make sure you start above the skull and give her hair some, you know, body. Too many artists draw the hair just touching the skull and then coming down. You don't want to do that. You want to go ahead and start above the skull and then, you know, start laying out the hair itself. And just be, you know, flow it out. Just let it just go diagonally off her head but you do want to have that that layer you know that separation from her skull to the top of her hair and that's the body as they say that, that a hair has and out here we just want to draw her shoulders and come down some more and just at this point I'm kind of going all over the drawing you know I have to go to the hair go down to the body and then may go back to the face so it just depends on what you want to you know what you feel like drawing whichever part of your sketch that captures your attention and that you want to focus on feel free to go ahead and do it this is just my warm-up process so just 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 drawing and sketching and stuff like that so and as you can see here I'm laying in her gloves that go all the way up to her you know her biceps her I guess this is her bustier that she has her outfit her bustier top and it's like leaves they, they kind of come off or at the ends of them are kind of like raveled like leaves because I guess her costume is supposed to be made out of foliage and green and you know leaves and stuff like that and then just fleshing out the hair some more and just getting it in there nothing fancy just go ahead and drop in all the curves that you want and coming out from the top of her forehead are her bangs and that's where the part of her hair is where it separates so I'll draw one side on the right side of her head and the other on the left side but she has this part going kind of like off the side of her head where her hair uh, separates and goes in different directions as you can see I'm kind of drawing the shine up there I'll throw a cast shadow around her neck and I kind of go all over the drawing. There's nothing specific, uh, you know, that you have to draw a certain thing in order. The only thing that really matters is that you make sure you get your head and basic body shape down. Kind of do that first. Now, over time, you will become more and more experienced with drawing the same thing over and over again. So you don't have to always draw a gesture line. Like some comic book professionals, they can simply just go in and just start drawing a clean figure because they've drawn that pose hundreds and hundreds of times. They don't have to go ahead and just, you know, start with the gesture drawing and then put the basic shapes on top. They know the pose. They know where everything goes. So here, as you can see, I'm using my HB uh, pencil here and just kind of just darkening in the shapes on her hair and leaving the highlights open I'm leaving those white so you can you have two options you can leave those white or you can go back in later and put in um, use white out and just um, add in the highlights so I want to give her a core shadow have the shadow on the front side of her which means the light source is kind of coming from behind well, she has a, another light source coming from behind her and uh, or the main light source rather is coming from behind her so we have that and her the highlights on the side of her arm her shoulder and the side of her breast and I'm just going to draw this core shadow coming in on the front now I'm using a pencil extender that's what this is called the pencil extender whenever your pencils like this one gets very short you can go ahead instead of throwing them away you just get a pencil extender and use your lead even longer so I'm not sure about you but art supplies can get pretty pricey and kind of expensive and you want to hang on to them and use them as much as you possibly can so this pencil extender really does help a lot so 
I'm going to erase this highlight, this rim light on the side of her face because the light is coming from behind her, kind of. Behind, off to the side. So, I have a shadow underneath her chin. And darken in a, a more, uh, you know, um, a dark outline, contour line around her to make her pop off the page a little bit more. You don't have to do this, but this is my process. I, I like doing that. And put in a few more, you know, strands of hair underneath. And I want to make sure that the shadow on her face matches that on her body. So I make sure that she has a coarse shadow all over the figure. And just for decoration's sake, I'm going to go in and add some like leaves and things in her hair. Kind of just for decoration. A little small. Not flowers, but leaves. And just some foliage. So, and just poison ivy doesn't have to have it. But I notice that some artists do put that in there. And uh, I'll go ahead and just add a few more. Just tweak it. And add a darker shadow on her figure, on her upper body up here. Putting in that, making sure that the side of her stays lit. That it's very, you know, light. And put a shadow, a cast shadow under in her armpit. Put the wrinkles around her wrists on her gloves. And then lastly, we can go ahead and drop in a you know a background just something simple that's rendered in there maybe with a few vines back there so she's in her habitat she's naturally working on something now I'm using my uniball signal white gel pen here to go ahead and kind of make the whites of her eyes pop out a little bit more this is something I like to do in my pencil sketches just to kind of give it that extra contrast with so much blacks and grays on the page, the white will just help the drawing just pop that more. And now I'm using my Copic Multi-Liner, or you can use any inking tool and just darkening in the pupils in her eyes and her eyelashes. And we're just about done here. And there you have it. That's Poison Ivy. Thanks for watching. Who's your favorite female villain? And if you're still having a hard time coming up with your own superhero body, then click the link below in the description and get my free superhero mini course. Get started right now. Don't wait.